Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy Thursday. Hope your week is going really well. Happy opening day. I'm so stoked. Baseball season is beginning. I love basketball and football, but baseball is my true passion. I love the Brewers. They're my team. My ride or die my entire life. Just can't wait. Hopefully they do well against the Cubbies. They're big time rivals, but you did not come here to listen to me talk about sports. You came here to listen to me talk about my other passion, our passion, Pokemon. So I'm excited to get into things for you today. I haven't done a review on really products. I don't open a whole lot on this channel, but we have so many products that got released either last week or this upcoming weekend that I really want to dive into them a little bit because it's going to be a lot of options for your spending habits when it comes to your collection. And I wanted to give you honest feedback, give you an idea of what's in all of these collection boxes, maybe where you might want to focus your spending dollars, things like that. So we're going to go through them. I'm going to start off going through which one I like the least and then gradually work my way towards what I like the most. First of all, we've got the Pikachu V collection box. I'm going to go through this and open it up in just a minute here. Then after that, we've got these new Sinnoh tins, which actually, uh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to talk to you guys about it when I open them up. But we got the new Sinnoh tins. Then we've got the Morpeko V Union box. So this bad boy uh, just came out. Uh, Morpeko V Union. Yeah, I don't know what you guys think of the, the V Union cards. Let me know in the comment section down below. Then we've got the Lucario V Star collection box. And we still are not done. Uh, we have the Pokemon Collector Bundle, which is a little bit intriguing. I'm excited to break into this one. But before we jump into everything, we are giving away a Evolving Skies booster box every single week until a reprint comes. All you have to do to be entered to win is go back, watch the video that we posted last week, Friday, um, and just leave a like, leave a comment, uh, and make sure you're subscribed and you're entered to win. Tomorrow, uh, I have a really exciting video planned for you guys where we are going to go over losing money in Pokemon. I'm super stoked for it, um, but we're going to announce the winner for last week's Evolving Skies Booster Box, and then we're going to start over again and give away another one. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to flip you guys around because we're going to open these up and kind of talk about them a little bit while we open them up. I'm going to start out, like I said, with my least favorite product of the bunch, which is this Pikachu V Union or Pikachu V box. We've seen a lot of Pikachu Vs already just over the past couple years. Uh, and I was very, very shocked when they told us that we were going to be sending, they were going to be sending another one out. You get this cool Mimikyu promo that you see right here. That's pretty neato burrito. But other than that, another Pikachu V, another card that's not overly playable. And then if we look at the actual pack contents of this, I'm going to break into this in a second here. So I'm going to just show you this Pikachu V right there. Throw that to the side. You get your Jumbo card, which let's face it, Jumbos, while they're fun to look at and fun to collect, not a whole lot of value associated with them. And then you get two Brilliant Stars packs, which is super cool. Uh, but then you get two Fusion Strike Booster packs. I don't know why <laughs> you get two Fusion Strike Booster packs. Usually when they do collection boxes like this, they're going to add another pack. And it's going to be one of the more recent sets or maybe an older set. So you might see like a Rebel Clash or you might see like a Darkness Blaze, Vivid Voltage, Evolving Skies. I don't know why there's two Fusion Strike. To me, that is not worth the $20 price tag. So you get uh, two Brilliant Stars, which is like, you know, $4 a piece. So you're looking at $8 right there. A Fusion Strike. Okay, I get it. You got to throw one of them in there. So that's another few bucks. That's 11 And then another Fusion Strike, which is like $14. And then if you calculate the promo, uh, which is going to be a bulk V, pretty much immediately you're looking at like $15 for a $20 box. Not a whole lot of value associated with it. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to break these open to see if we can get any of the value back. We'll start off with the fusion strike packs and we'll just go pretty quickly here we've gotten a less of sparkle right away so that definitely helps out and there we're going to give away the code card as long as you can see it with my uh not too great camera i guess we'll sleeve up this alessa sparkle i wasn't expecting to get something decent right out of the gate but that's pretty cool uh so alessa sparkle and then we'll open up fusion strike pack number two ultimately while i don't mind fusion strike i think it's a pretty decent set ultimately not a not a set that a lot of people like not a set that a lot of uh, Pokemon collectors are really into so ultimately a lot of people are gonna probably pass on these Pikachu V boxes and it looks like they kind of printed these Pikachu V boxes to Oblivion you've probably seen quite a few of them out and about already as we pull a Zamazenta V so this Pikachu V box this collection box is turning out to be okay however just some, not, not really something I'm overly excited about not necessarily something that I recommend Brilliant Stars pack number two nothing great in there so that is the Pikachu V box I would probably hold on to your money when it comes to that one. Next up, we have the new Sinnoh tins that are releasing. These are $8.99. They come with two packs. You get a coin. Um, they just have different different Pokemon from different regions. You've got a Turtwig there. You've got uh, a Ryolu there. There's 10 packs that come in a sealed display. Uh, there's a nice little Piplup right there. I think that's the one that will open up. That's fairly cool. Uh, but I do like the artwork. I think the artwork is fairly cool. 
Outside of that though, and I'm gonna break into this and we're just gonna open up one of these rather than open up the entire display. Outside of that, I'll show you the pack contents inside. With this being a new set, you get this nice little artwork card in there, which is cool. Look at that, right out of the gates, Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. So you're spending $9 for MSRP, which isn't bad, but you ultimately are getting two packs that really are only worth about $2.50 right now, $3 right now, depending on where you look. Fusion Strike, which we just talked about, not a super exciting set. Chilling Rain, a little bit better of a set. I like it a little bit more than I did Fusion Strike because you have potential to pull some of those really cool alternate arts that are in Chilling Rain. But ultimately, I don't know if it's necessarily worth that $9 price tag. Now, it is something that you could collect for future if you're somebody who really likes the artwork. I think the artwork looks fantastic on it, but ultimately, um, not the best, not the best product, unfortunately. I uh, would have liked to see a little bit better of the uh, pack selection inside. Again, I'm okay with Fusion Strike, but then I think you should have put in there like a Brilliant Stars or an Evolving Skies, something that would have been a little bit more in demand. It could have been worse, I guess. Uh, Chilling Rain is at least somewhat decent, and we got a hit out of it with a Volcanion V, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but outside of that, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Like I said, not a terrible thing, uh, but again, more Fusion Strike. Next up, we're going to look at the Morpeko V Union. And V Unions are an interesting mechanic that the game has. I don't know if it's really going to take off. It kind of feels like Pokemon at one point released those Prism Star cards, which the Prism Star cards were really cool, and it was a good idea because the Lost Zone brought back so many memories for a lot of players uh, during a time that a lot of people consider to be like the glory days of Pokemon, but it just never really took off. Same thing with like break cards, and it seems like these V Union cards are kind of the same gimmick, kind of the same thing. There's not a whole lot of them out there, uh, and they don't seem to be getting whole, a whole lot of play, and obviously they come in different pieces, right? Four different pieces. Kind of reminds you of uh, the Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Because you have to assemble all the pieces together. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think in the section down below. Then you get another jumbo card, but that's pretty much it. Then you get four packs. And if you want to look at the packs, once again, it's two Fusion Strike. So again, and this is $29.99, $30 for the MSRP for the Morpeko V. Morpeko is cool. I like I like Mar Morpeko just fine. But again, it's the pack selection inside that gets me. Two Brilliant Stars is awesome. That makes sense. It was the most recent set that released. One Fusion Strike makes sense. It was the set that released before that. Doing two Fusion Strike, to me, does not make a whole lot of sense. Why are we doing two Fusion Strike instead of one of a different Sword and Shield era set? Even if it was like Darkness of Blade, battle style something else giving a little bit more variety when you do two fusion strike you're not getting a whole lot of variety in there and then you're really just focusing on the past two sets so we'll break these open quick and see if we can make back a little bit of the money that i guess would be spent on buying this at 30 dollars a piece so again i don't know if i'm overly excited about this product either there are a couple products i'm going to get through them in just a second here that i do like that are releasing but ultimately it is your decision it is your money and while some of these are i mean some of them are, are cool artwork i just wish that the pack selection inside was a little bit better in all honesty i don't know why there was another pikachu v card that was printed i think there was a lot of other cards that need a v card or could have uh, benefited from having an ultra rare even in a promo fashion i would have preferred we are 0 for 3 on the um packs <laughs> in this Morpeko V box, which, V Union box, which is just making it a little bit worse to deal with. Uh, we'll see if we can get anything in this one. Oh, just a Kingler V. All right, so at least we've gotten hits and everything. Unfortunately, just a couple bulk Vs with Zamazenta V and Kingler V. Volcanion V, not a whole lot of value for the full art either. Next, we're gonna look at the Lucario V-Star. And this one I'm actually fairly excited about because it does have somewhat competitive connotations associated with it. However, once again, the pack selection inside is not something that makes me very happy. So here is the Lucario V. This is actually a really cool full art. I really like how it works uh, or looks. You got Crushing Punch for a double colorless. Uh, it does discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. It does 50. And then you've got the Lucario V-Star with Fighting Knuckles. It's got the Aura Star as its V-Star power. Uh, you also get this cool coin over here, which isn't bad. Uh, the pin is really neat. And obviously a V-Star marker along with the Jumbo. Outside of that, going over the pack selection, I'm just going to put this aside and hopefully not bump the camera way too much. The pin is actually really cool. I like how it looks. Uh, it's actually two different levels with the swirl behind it and the Lucario there. Very neat. I do like that a lot. Uh, but outside of those things which I do like about the box, the things that I don't like about the box, again, Brilliant Stars is awesome. Chilling Rain is great. 
three fusion strike and that really doesn't make sense so you have the potential of a really good box that gets brought down to just a, a decent box and when things are all said and done you get two brilliant stars packs which again makes a whole lot of sense one chilling rain makes sense but why three fusion strike like you have the opportunity to add in a lot of different sets from the sword and shield block and you just focus on three fusion strike one makes sense adding three of them does not make a whole lot of sense so we're going to crack these open and see if we can get anything there is a little bit of a price tag associated with the lucario v star box it is 39.99 so you're looking more at like the price of an etb which obviously you're going to get eight packs in all from the same set but you get instead uh six packs and then you get the the full art lucario which is really cool and then the lucario v star we've got a crabominable crabominable v uh so another bulk v right there we'll see if we can get something good out of maybe brilliant stars or chilling rain even if we get i mean obviously it's all luck based when it comes to opening packs so you never know how the box is actually going to um, play out and it's it's fun to open cards like don't get me wrong there uh, as we move on to chilling rain but i just wish that the pack selection was a little bit better in all of these so far especially when it comes to uh, this specific box the lucario v star box so definitely something that i would recommend picking up for the promo cards because i think they look uh very very neato burrito but other than that um not too excited about the packs inside and we are uh struggling with pulls on this box as well we have a dust nor hollow outside of that we have not pulled a single uh a single good card so we'll hope for some last pack magic here maybe we'll get some oh boy so we went 0 for 6 on that box finally the box that i'm actually most excited about is the collector bundle that you see here this is actually 30 dollars and it comes with seven booster packs so that right there is about seven times four 28 dollars you're looking at msrp basically for the booster packs alone but then you also get some sticker sheets you get a, a cool little notebook inside and then you get three promo cards you get the rowlet you get the cyndaquil and you get the Ashwa, which i think is super cool it's a little different than what i originally anticipated it being because it's not um it's not a tin it's it's made out of cardboard instead so it's it's kind of like a lunchbox it's kind of like a, a carrying case but at the same time uh it is more so like uh it's more so cardboard i'm struggling so much just to get this open but i'm going to show you what i mean so it's it's a, a cool cardboard and then it's got a little handle at the top here that you could carry around uh carry it around with but ultimately uh not a tin which is pretty cool so if we open it up it's also got this really cool arceus coin uh that's got a little glimmer to it a little shine to it uh which i actually really like and then you've got the the cool promo cards that are uh, attached to it so we've got the the hollow cyndaquil here i'm just going to take these out so you can kind of look at them so there's the cyndaquil there's the Ashwa, and there is the rowlet Ultimately, this is the box that released that I like the most. I do think that the Lucario box is okay. The other one's not as big of a fan of. I'm going to go through these in just a second, but I want to get this. Lots of wasted space, unfortunately. I want to get this extra bulk out of here so you can take a look at uh, the sticker sheets, which are cool, and uh, the notebook, which is neat, too. Anytime you get little add-ons like that, it's pretty cool, especially considering the fact that you're basically paying MSRP for the packs, and then this is all like extra bonus stuff, so... There's the sticker sheets, um, and then this is the, the the little notebook that comes with it too, uh, the Arceus notebook. There's another couple of sticker sheets there, and then you got a little display case uh, if you want, a little carrying case, which is pretty cool. But we're gonna go through the packs right now. Uh, we've got Fusion Strike, obviously. Here's a code card if you want the code card for this. I guess I could have been giving that away. Uh, two Vivid Voltage, which is cool. Finally, an Evolving Skies. Two Brilliant Stars. Actually, three Vivid Voltage. So, a little high on the Vivid Voltage. Not as bad because Vivid Voltage is a better set. You get Amazing Rares. You get a little bit better pull rates. Fusion Strike. Obviously, not overly a fan of, but it's pretty cool. You get one pack. That's fine. Would have liked to see maybe a Chilling Rain instead of one of the Vivid Voltage. But all, all things aside, you get an Evolving Skies, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, we're going to start out just opening up this Fusion Strike pack. I mean, seven packs. This is MSRP for $30. This is by far uh, my favorite product that uh, is releasing. So I wouldn't, I would definitely give a recommendation to open this one up or to buy this one because I think it's the best of the bundle. If you have $30 that you want to spend on Pokemon cards this weekend, I think this is the way to go. Uh, just as a rude, as a rude V. Overall, we've gotten some decent hits. The only, only box that we got shut out on was <laughs> that Lucario box. Uh, Vivid Voltage pack number two. See if we can pull something good. We haven't pulled anything overly great outside of that Alessa Sparkle, which we pulled right away. I guess I should be giving away the codes as well as we go. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below what you think, what you've seen so far, if you've picked any of this stuff up so far, what you're kind of excited to get. 
Uh, Rockruff and Beedrill. Nothing overly exciting there. All right, we're going to go Brilliant Stars. I don't think... Have we pulled anything out of Brilliant Stars? Just that Zamazenta. It makes sense for all these collection boxes that are releasing that there would be... Um, hey, Lumine and V alternate art. Let's go. Um, it makes sense that there would be Brilliant Stars. Wasn't expecting that. That's a big banger right there. That's pretty good. Ooh, love how that looks. Look at that. Boom. All right, Brilliant Stars pack number two. But it makes sense that you would see Brilliant Stars in there. And Brilliant Stars is getting a little bit pricey now. So having... Uh, a little bit of extra booster packs that are hitting the market is pretty cool. Uh, Elkrimi, nothing great there. And then we'll see the one product that is releasing that has an Evolving Skies in it is the Collector Bundle. That's it. So we're going to open up this bad boy here and see if we can get something inside. Um, but yeah, Evolving Skies, obviously super, super high in price, which is why we are doing the Danny Phantom reprint, giving stuff away. Unfortunately, we just got a Mars Shadow. At least it's a hollow, better than nothing. So overall, I would uh, definitely look at purchasing the Lucario V-Star. I think the Collector's Bundle is the best deal. Uh, you may want to hold your money for Astral Radiance or something else when it comes to uh, the Sinnoh Tins, the Pikachu V-Box, the Morpeko V-Union Box. If you want to have one just to open, have a, that makes sense. Uh, but ultimately, these are the two products that I like a lot more, which is the Lucario V-Star. Obviously not super excited about the packs uh, with three Fusion Strikes in there, but three Fusion Strikes in there but way more excited uh, about the collector bundle i think that's at least a, a really good deal so hope you guys enjoyed that i just wanted to give my honest opinion my honest review uh leave a comment down below leave a like goes a long way for the algorithm most importantly hit that subscribe button really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out the channel check out the video uh this we would be nowhere without you guys so thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow for our giveaway for evolving skies really excited for that video until then guys peace